the cocky who cried, Dingo! By Yvonne Morrison and Heath McKenzie In the back of beyond, underneath the hot sun, lived a huge flock of parrots who loved to have fun. They would scratch in the dirt and splash in the creek, sing raucous songs and then dance beak to beak. There were bright lorikeets and rosy corellas, gorgeous galahs and vivid rosellas. And perched in the gum tree that had the best view was a handsome and arrogant young cockatoo. Cocky had a long tail and a snowy white chest and loved to show others his bright yellow crest. But he liked to be cheeky and play naughty tricks. Yep, acting the joker sure gave him his kicks. The flock came to roost one night as the sun set, but Cocky did not want to go to sleep yet. The birds started snoozing, and as they all snored, cheeky young Cocky felt restless and bored. So he plotted and planned and came up with a scheme, and the sly cunning plan made his beady eyes gleam. Soon the whole flock would be shaking with fear. What a genius I am, he thought. What an idea. So he flew to the ground and he opened his beak. He took a deep breath and he let out a shriek. Trouble, he hollered. Oh, help me by Jingo. I'm trapped in the jaws of a big hairy dingo. He fluttered his wings, he squawked and he cried, till the birds were awoken, alarmed and wide-eyed. They swooped from the trees to help with the fight, but down on the ground, not a dingo in sight. Cocky hooted and laughed and bobbed up and down until Gary Galar declared with a frown, You silly young cocky, don't wake us with cries when all you are screaming is nothing but lies. So hanging his head low as if he felt shame, Cocky said, I am sorry, you don't like my game. Gary shook his head sternly and flew to his tree, but as soon as he left, Cocky giggled with glee. Then again the next night, Cocky opened his beak. He took a deep breath and he let out a shriek. Trouble, he shouted. Oh, help me by Jingo. I'm trapped in the jaws of a big hairy dingo. He fluttered his wings, he squawked and he cried. Once more the birds woke up alarmed and wide-eyed. They swooped from the trees to help with the brawl, but down on the ground still no dingo at all. Cocky bobbed up and down, hooting and howling, till Lizzie the lorry confronted him scowling. You silly young cocky, it's not even true. How dare you wake us with that hullabaloo. Shuffling his feet as if in disgrace, Cocky lifted both wingtips to cover his face. Liz lorry tut tutted and flew to her tree. But behind his white wings, Cocky giggled with glee. Once again the next night, Cocky opened his beak. He took a deep breath, but before he could shriek, a shadow fell over him dark as the night, and Cocky peeked over his shoulder in fright. It was a real dingo, lanky and lean, with sharp gleaming teeth and eyes hard and mean. In terror the naughty bird struggled and flapped, but under one paw his tail feathers were trapped.
Trouble, he cried out. Oh, help me by Jingo. I'm trapped in the jaws of a fair income dingo. From high in the trees, a chorus called down. You can't fool us three times. Stop acting the clown. But it's true, Cocky screeched. I really am pinned. The birds didn't answer. The dingo just grinned. What a fool I have been, Cocky thought. All my lies are going to lead to my early demise. The dingo growled softly and spread his jaws wide. And Cocky howled out, I'm so sorry I lied. If I can escape, then I'll try to be good. And he pulled and he struggled as hard as he could. Then the dingo's jaws snapped, but to his great surprise, he found he'd lost hold of his tasty young prize. Cocky had managed to squirm from his paws, leaving only six feathers stuck fast in his jaws. And Cocky, now safely perched high in his tree, found his bright yellow crest snipped as short as could be. But Cocky was thankful and said with a sigh, Never again will I tell such a lie. So from that day the young bird understood, He'd have many more friends if he learned to be good. And though he's still playful and likes to have fun, His days of mean tricks are now over and done.